Um, I think we're at a very interesting moment uh, in, this, in this food movement. I think we can use that term now uh, in, a, in, a, in a very meaningful way. I think there is a food movement. I think it's one of the most interesting social movements happening right now. Um, it is, in some ways, the best of times and the worst of times. Um, our food system is showing uh, many signs of, of uh, renovation and, and, and there is, you know, we have a first lady in the White House who has, as you suggested in your question, has taken an interest, has waded into the politics of food in very interesting and important ways and I think is changing the conversation. She's, you know, what she's saying and doing may seem very kind of ordinary to you because you're all very well informed on these issues, but to a, a tremendous audience of people, what she's saying is actually quite new and quite radical and, and quite important. Um, on the other hand, we have some very uh, disturbing uh, trends going on around food. Um, you know, without going into the, the, the health effects and environmental effects, but industrial agriculture is tightening its hold in many ways. Uh, concentration is worse than it's ever been. Um, whether you're talking about milk or seeds or um, uh, meat slaughtering or uh, any segment you look at in this food system, we're down to two or three or four big players basically controlling everything. Um, so you have that going on and then you have this reaction to it. And how it will play out, nobody knows. But I think that there is this growing recognition that the system we have is not serving people well, is not serving um, our health, is not serving the environment, is not serving the workers, is not serving the animals. And so there is this reaction, and it's a very exciting thing to behold. Um, I've been, you know, I'm, I'm working on a piece now about the food movement and trying to figure out why now, where did it come from, why is it, why is it attracting people? And I speak on a lot of college campuses, and um, it's, it's remarkable how much uh, interest these issues holds for the, for the generation in college right now. This is their issue. Uh, they want to, many, many, many people in college now want to devote their lives to working on the food system. Whether, and for some that means farming, for others that means going to Washington and trying to change the farm bill and, and, and policy. For other people it means, uh, you know, working on um, holistic health. And, uh, but it is uh, a very powerful force that is set loose that hasn't yet been recognized, I don't think, by the political establishment, but it's out there and it's perking. And that's all very exciting. I think, though, when I look at it and try to figure out what's making this tick, one of the things you learn very quickly, and, and Chris, I think you know this very well, is that food is a stand-in for a whole lot of other issues. And that as much as we care passionately about food and health and the environment, finally, as you suggested the way you phrased this question, I think community is really the deeper hunger that people feel. And that food has been a way to create community. Of course, it's always been that. Um, and we shouldn't be surprised that it has that power. Um, this is what people do when they gather, they eat. And, um, but I think now the, this, this kind of creation of these new local food communities and, and connecting chefs with farmers, with eaters, and uh, institutions of various kinds is about reacting against this sense of powerlessness, this sense of monopoly um, that we feel all around us. And I think in food we have more power than in so many other parts of our lives. I mean, I think there's something really fundamental about food. It's you have choice there that you don't have in many other areas, and that you don't have to wait for the whole political system to move. You can do something today. You can do something three times tomorrow that will have an effect. And I think, and this is, uh, uh, what I'm telling you is what I, I see in the faces of the, especially the college students I talk to, is that there is something uniquely empowering about food. Um, and that gives people a lot of uh, a, a lot of hope. That's great.